the iconic Aten Thunderbolt II, affectionately known as the Warthog, is preparing to bid farewell to its mission in South Korea. By 2025, the United States Air Force plans to retire these formidable aircraft from the Korean Peninsula, marking the end of an era. For decades, the A-10 has been a symbol of ground attack excellence, renowned for its durability, firepower, and ability to protect troops in even the most challenging conditions. However, as the Air Force continues its modernization strategy, newer, more advanced aircraft will take its place. Replacing the A-10 will be a combination of fourth and fifth generation aircraft, including modernized F-16 Fighting Falcons, the cutting-edge F-15X Strike Eagle II, and the stealthy F-35 A Lightning II, this transition is part of a broader effort to strengthen security in the Indo-Pacific region and enhance deterrence against North Korea. The retirement of 24 attends at Osun Air Base will begin in January 2025 and is expected to be completed by the end of the fiscal year. Simultaneously, the Air Force is upgrading the avionics of its F-16 fleet, bringing them closer to fifth-generation capabilities. These upgrades will improve both survivability and weapon accuracy. The addition of more F-15XX and F-35 as to the region reflects a commitment to maintaining an overwhelming force posture. South Korea, too, is modernizing its air force, having retired its last F-4 Phantom EAs in 2024 as it transitions to the advanced F-35A. In stark contrast, North Korea's air force remains outdated, resembling a collection of museum pieces. This technological gap underscores the importance of the modernization efforts by the United States and South Korea. While the Warthog's mission in South Korea is coming to an end, its story isn't over. The Attenth may find a new lease on life in other roles, including service with allied nations such as Jordan. Yet the United States Air Force plans to retire all remaining Attends by the end of this decade. As we say goodbye to the A-10, it's important to recognize its legacy of protecting lives and dominating the battlefield. At the same time, the Air Force's focus on integrating fourth and fifth generation technologies ensures it remains ready for the challenges of modern warfare. The skies over the Korean Peninsula are evolving, and with them a renewed commitment to peace and security. The future of air power is here. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about cutting edge technology in the skies, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos exploring the world of military aviation.